Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of y'all who are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Han. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Welcome back. Once again, for those of y'all who are already subscribed, um, thank you, thank you. So today's video was recommended or suggested by my sister. She suggests I should do like a spicy noodle challenge while telling an embarrassing story. So I was like, hmm, why not? Since I already bought some um, and I already have some in the pantry, so might as well. So I did two different type of noodles, spicy noodles. Um, so yeah. So this is the popular one, I believe. Um, it's the two times spicy hot chicken flavor ramen. Is this one right here so it's dry and then I also have the stew one which is wet this is my first time trying this one I haven't tried this one yet um, so is this bag just in case if you guys want to go ahead and purchase them or try them out if you have not yet and of course I have my diluted uh, lime kumquat orange aid <laughs> so yeah let's get started Alright, so which one should I try first? All right, let me take a sip of mine. Guess what I I was going through my like this um pouch that I have and yo back in elementary school, right? So they made us take this picture. It's like a what is it called? Identa kid. In case it's like you get lost or something, they'll like be able to find you. Yo, Look at my hair. Can you see it? Yo. That's wild. That's crazy. My hair was a mess. But I'm telling you, I, I used to be a tomboy growing up. I think up until like maybe fifth grade. Yo, that was wild. The crazy thing is my stomach is going to be fucked up after this because this is literally my first meal of the day. I'm so scared. I've been splashing to my eyes. That shit gone burn. Look at my phone. I have this robe on because I love wearing robes and it's so cold right now in my house. But without this heat, I'm eating. I'm about to take it off. I'm already sweating. Yo, this is like the first bite and I'm already dying. It's crazy. This shit is spicy, yo. Like, I'm not even over-exaggerating. I'm gonna add some veggies to it, but I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna try not to do too much. Okay. Right. So, the first story Wait, before I continue, let me try, oh shoot, let me try this one, let's do, mmm, yeah, the stew is good, okay. it's spicy, but it's not as spicy as the two chong one, wait back to my story, well, I didn't even start the story, but anyway, okay, so, I remember back in when was it um I think it was fifth grade I'm at elementary school I think it's maybe like 2005 I want to say in fifth grade we had like a talent show and then it was one me and one of my like good friends at the time she like she used to live, live, live in my uh, she used to live in my neighborhood and so <coughs> oh shit we were pretty close and we were like yo let's do this talent sh this chat for this talent show right mind you i cannot sing for shit if you have not seen my video please check it out and you will know what i mean so we were like yo let's try singing you know because i couldn't think of any other talent that we were like that i have you know so we're like let's just try let's try us uh, to sing <coughs> and at the time I think we're like we're trying to figure out a song that way. 
that we both know the lyrics to and can sing. And so I remember I was like, yo, let's sing high school musical. Oh my god. I sing high school musical with um what was it Gabrielle and is it Gabrielle or Gabriella? And Troy. It was I think it was high school musical one. It was like the sound cloud thing was like it's starting something new. Yo, I'm not even exaggerating. This is fucking spicy. Well, it was coming off. Oh. I'm sorry if you can see my armpit hair. I don't have my wax machine with me. <sighs> okay, back to what I was saying. High School Musical, right? The song I think it was called "In Start of Something New." Let me see. Let me Google this. Something new. High school. Oh, start of something new. And now I think I can remember who was singing Troy's part and who was singing. I think it was Gab I don't know if it was Gabrielle or Gabriella, but Vanessa Hudgens' part. I, I can't remember to be to be honest. Oh my god. So let's just say that I sang, um, I think I sang the girl, which is Vanessa Hudgens' part, and then my friend, she sang um, Troy's part. Dude. Oh my god, I hope I don't faint. So yeah. <laughs> and we were just like, we didn't even rehearse, nothing. We were like, alright, you know this thing? Alright, let's do it. Let's sing it. Bro, let me tell you, when I dig, I was digging deep, deep, deep down in me to find the vocals that I wish I had, but I didn't. That was rough. And on top of that, I sang the, I sang the same chorus over and over again because I forgot the lyrics. Because I was so focused on trying to like sing that I forgot the lyrics and so we were over here just looking at each other and I was like literally like in the zone singing my heart out you can see my veins popping out the same fucking chorus oh my god that job was so embarrassing like thinking back at it yo I thought I could sing back in fifth grade but now yo I don't know what the heck I was thinking but yeah, that was pretty funny. It was like, I think the guy sang first. I'm looking at my phone because I'm trying to figure out the lyrics. But I think the guy was like, living in my own world. Didn't understand that anything can happen. Uh, excuse me. When you take a chance. Uh. I might be mixing it wrong between Zach and Vanessa um, verse or whatever, but yo, I was literally like this. Let me, let me try to act it out for y'all. I was like, <clears throat> uh, what is it? Or maybe I sang the guy's part, Zach's part. But I don't know, I was like, living in my own world. Didn't understand that anything can happen when you take a chance. Yo, that literally was me. I'm not even lying. And I kept saying the same the same part because that's all I remembered. But yeah. Oh my god. I'm so sorry we could see my blooper. But yeah, that that was pretty embarrassing because yo. Like that's for like a freaking talent show. Imagine trying to sing in front of everybody when you can't sing. Yo, that's embarrassing, man. But anyways, yeah. That's story number one. And then... Okay, let me give this one a break. It's too spicy. Okay. Story number two. Like, I'm gonna try to keep it short and simple, not too long, you know? 
Oh wait, reverse. Back to that singing time. I, I can't remember if we actually sang at the talent show. I don't think we made it, or did we? I don't think we made it to the talent show because it was like an audition. Like we were auditioning for the talent show, but I don't think we made it to the talent show. But that was tragic. <sighs> Oh my god, good times, good times. Then when you're younger, you give no shit. You that like, you don't know what embarrassment was. You don't know what it means to embarrass yourself. It was just life was just so carefree, you know. But there now thinking about it, like hell no, nah, not in my high school talent show, cause I will get made fun of. But anyways, okay. But okay, back to story. Okay, to story number two. <clears throat> Story number two. So, okay, back. This is fifth grade again, yo. Fifth grade. So, fifth grade, my family and I went back to my whole entire family. My immediate family, I mean. That was, what, 2005? We went back to Vietnam. Um, a little backstory. What I mean by going back to Vietnam is like, so, I came to the States when I was about three years old. And I've lived in Georgia my whole entire life. So yeah. But if you guys want to know more about my back, my story or my back or my story, my background, whatever, that'll be in a separate video. I could do like a Q and A type thing. But anyways, yeah. So after coming back, after coming here in 1998, uh, we went back for the first time in 2005. <sighs> right, and. You know, you was young, living life, um, just being a kid. We went to the beach, right? And when, and for those of y'all who know, I think the beach was called Yong Tao. And for those of y'all who've been to Vietnam and been to Yong Tao, it's not really the prettiest beach, I would say. But it's still a beach. You know, so everyone was really appreciative about it. Like, yo, there's sand, there's, yeah. And so my entire family went to Vong Tao, Vong Tao, Tao, whatever. <clears throat> went to Vong Tao. And like, we got a good, it was, it was really inexpensive to travel inside Vietnam and to like, and for like expenses, expenses there as in like food, activities and stuff like that. It's really cheap, really inexpensive compared to like the states or anywhere else. So my dad got like the whole like a, a van for all of our family, for majority of the family in Vietnam, to go to the beach, which is Vung Tao. Yo, and usually, for those of y'all who've been to Vietnam, know that usually at the beach, a lot of people there don't really wear bathing suits. They wear more of like a t-shirt or shorts or like work they're fully clothed clothed or whatever fully clothed and go into the water which is not like that here in the states in the states people wear bikini and stuff you know because if you wear a t-shirt and some jeans into the water you probably get stared at but some people do which is fine but anyways yeah so in nam which is vietnam in nam people are like fully clothed or whatever they're fully clothed and then they would swim fully clothed. And if you if you wear like a bathing suit, best believe you'll get stared at up and down, sideways, always, backwards, frontwards, anyways. You will get stared at. Duh. Excuse me. And so, you know, so of course at the time all of our family members were wearing like clothes inside the water so we were like okay let's just wear that you know and plus we didn't know anything like we were young oh I was young whatever and so I got on like a t-shirt and some shorts that I bought in Nam somehow I'm getting dizzy y'all So I was wearing 
thing, t-shirt, a t-shirt, and some shorts. I can't remember if they were like pajama shorts or not. I don't think they were. But anyways, t-shirt and some shorts. I was in the water playing, and then my aunt, yo, I'm not trying to disrespect my aunt or anything, you know, but she had me laughing, yo. She was the funniest thing ever, funniest person. Like, my aunt at the time, she ain't got no teeth. Like, she ain't got no front teeth. Like, she probably missing like maybe four or five of them. And she was in the water just laughing. So water kept going to her mouth. And it was just the funniest thing ever. I don't know why that was funny. It was just so funny. And then, and from, and you know, like, when you're younger and you had to pee, you like pee in the pool or whatever, you know, so. I had to pee so bad. I didn't want to get up because I usually, I don't even, I just didn't want to get up. I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to be lazy and pee. And so, I was like peeing, right, in the water. And somehow, like, I felt a breeze, like, where my butthole is. I felt a breeze. And I was like, yo, some feel a little airy, you know, like some some feel a little too breezy for me. <clears throat> I looked at, I looked um, I looked down to make sure like my pants were still on, my shorts I mean, and they were. So I was like, all right, cool, cool. But some still don't feel right because I was like swimming, being in the water. And I was like, yo, some like my my shorts ain't gripping no water. Something ain't right. I know some people's pet peeve is like chewing with your mouth open, but for me, I feel like that's how you taste the food. That's how you know if the food is good, is by chewing with your mouth open. That's how you get the flavor. <sighs> but yeah, back to story. And I was like, yo, I'm feeling something, feel it, something don't feel right. I got up, right? I got up to go, I guess to go eat. And I was like, yo, something feel a little too airy. Like, it's too breezy, man. And I think I touched my pant or something. Like, you know, you just kind of go around, just like, feel, just like feel yourself a little bit. I was like, dude, why is there a hole in my butthole? I mean, like, not, I mean, like a hole in my pant where, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Or it's like a heart and yo she was so embarrassing because I couldn't get up I, I couldn't get up because like there's literally like a hole in the back of my pants and that was from me peeing oh shit but that was from me peeing so I'm thinking like yo how did I get this hole and I remember I was like I was peeing and I guess my pee must be too hot or something that it burned a hole in my pant and I couldn't get up so I just stood in the water or I sat in the water for the whole entire time and I had to get help from like I think my sister or somebody had to help me get to get up because it was like a perfect circle yeah I just was crazy so I was thinking like yo how the hell did this happen I don't remember anything biting me I just remember peeing I guess the pee was a little too hot for the material the pant or something and so now, so now when I pee in the pool or something, or like in the beach, I'm too lazy, I pee, I always touch the back of my pants to make sure I didn't burn a hole from my pee. But yeah, that was wild. That was embarrassing. Well, to me, I found that embarrassing because, yo, that's embarrassing. But good thing when you're a little kid, you get away with a lot of stuff versus being an adult. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my story even though it was kind of like choppy because I've been in fifth grade um and it was so spicy I was trying to collect my my thoughts together to tell the story but it was so freaking spicy <sighs> but yeah anyways yes um leave down in the comment section y'all's most embarrassing stories or any embarrassing stories that you guys remembered leave down in the comment section I would love to hear it and then also don't forget to like comment share and subscribe not to hit that notification bell if you have not yet oh my god 
I'm sorry you guys are seeing boogers or whatnot, but fuck. You cannot eat spicy food and not have any boogers, right? Doesn't mean it's not spicy, you know. But anyways, yeah. And then I remember, so my last couple of videos, or my last video, I remember, if you have not yet seen it, make sure you guys, you guys go ahead and check it out. I lost my train of thought, and that train of thought was that I forgot to end it with a quote. So... So I'm gonna. So before I end this video, I'm like I would like to end it with a quote, and one of my t favorite quotes that I always, always love and live by is "Your thoughts create your reality." I'm not quite sure who is it from, to be honest, but or where I got it. But yeah, I just remember reading. I was like, "Oh my god, I love that quote." Anyways, so once I read that quote, it's been engraved in my mind. Um, I always think about it. It's like your thoughts create your reality because it does. It, the first thing, or you want to make progress, or, or, not make. Oh my God, I can't even think right now, y'all. <laughs> like, if you want to improve or go toward work towards your dream or change your lifestyle, it all starts with the way you think and your mentality. So you have to change that first. And of course, how you think will dictate your reality. Meaning, what you think, if you think positively, like if you, if you're all about, like, okay, I'm gonna go get this, I'm gonna chase after my dream, then you keep thinking that you're like, okay, I'm gonna do it, this is what I'm gonna do. And then sooner or later, you're gonna be doing it without realizing you're doing because that's what's in your mind, if that makes sense. But, anyways, yeah, your thoughts create your reality. Um, oh my god, it's so spicy. And I hope you guys are staying safe during this COVID 19 situation or pandemic, I mean. Um, hopefully you guys are all staying inside, quarantined, and using this time to figure out what's your next move, what you really want in life, and where you want to be in life, and kind of make like a, a plan for yourself once this whole pandemic thing is like over. When it is over, you can kind of jump back out into, back out, back out at it and just kind of go on with it, you know, just like, yo, this is what I'm doing, this is my plan, this is what I want to achieve, this is how I'm going to do it, this is what I'm going to do. I want some Louis and Gucci, I put some wins on her jeans.